The Wyantist and the Wild Weather. Written by Jane Lowry. Illustrated by Sukarno Akhmad. Read by Miss St. Germain. And Coach. Meet the Wyantist, the first in the Ask a Lot Kids series. Not very long ago, in a town by the sea, there lived a young girl who was curious, and she asked a lot of questions, just like a scientist, and people began to call her the Wyantist. Why, 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 and also when, what, where, how, and who were favorite words she used all the day through. Why? Oh, that's why. One day, she and her brother went out exploring forest with their uncle, who soon began roaring. Look, kids, we've discovered an old rock mine. He picked up some rocks. Just look at them shine. They came in bright colors of pink, purple, and blue. I'll buy this place. I don't care if it's hard to get to. And so trees he cut down, roads and runways he built, his trucks and gas generators running full tilt created a haze that winds couldn't blow away, a haze hovering high in layers, gritty and gray. Grr. Well, there goes the neighborhood. At first, no one noticed the temperatures rising or big storms at sea. Even boats were capsizing. No one noticed the weather got wilder each season, but the Wyantist did. She asked, what's the reason? Bewildered and baffled, she spoke up, what's the cause? We must fix the reasons it's happening because this wild weather is not a good thing. This is going to ruin my hair. The Wyantist wanted the answers without a doubt. I'm a Wyantist, a scientist. I will find out. I'll put on paper all of my observations. I'll ask people questions. I'll start conversations. My observations before wild weather, now. Why is the wild weather happening? One reason that the wild weather might be forming is because of something called global warming. What's global warming? Global warmings, when our world gets a bit warmer, it might change our climate, the librarian informed her. Hey, Dad, where does global warming come from? Smoke, car exhaust and stuff, even cow toots. They float in the sky, making an airy greenhouse where airplanes fly. They're called greenhouse gases and cause the greenhouse effect. They trap the sun's heat and make it collect. Here on Earth, instead of escaping into space, where the heat should go like it did in the first place. What are greenhouse gases? Where do they come from? First, there's carbon dioxide. It's also called CO2. It comes from burning fossil fuels, forest fires too. Second is methane. It's also called CH4. It comes from natural gas, livestock, dead trees, and more. Livestock? Like the cow they nicknamed Gassy Galore? Ugh, what did you eat? Dude, really? This is so embarrassing. Not again. How do we get rid of these greenhouse gases? Plant trees far and plant trees wide. Trees absorb carbon dioxide. As Mother Nature's world warms up, she feels under attack. But she's determined and strong, and she's fighting back. Fighting back with wild weather like heat waves and hurricanes. We must help her cool down, use common sense, use our brains. Let's make electricity with clean energy from solar and wind power. Love that technology. But Uncle said, Not me. With no apology. Friends brainstormed new ideas and new intentions. With boat wreckage pieces, we'll work on inventions. We'll stop greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide by using power that the sun and wind provide. They hunted and hauled solar panels that storms left behind. They puzzled together tall mast propellers and lines. Imagine that! But Uncle wouldn't join in. Help Mother Nature? Are you crazy? Change takes work, and you know I like to be lazy. The Wyantist nodded her head. I know change is hard, but I'm asking you, Uncle, please do your part. No one's saying to give up your fun. Just power it using the wind and the sun. Power all of your toys, cars, computers, and TVs from wind turbines and solar panels. You know, PVs. PVs. Photovoltaics. Let's try an experiment. It won't be giving in. If you like the new setup, then it's a win-win. And what if I don't? 
Uncle asked half-hearted. Then we'll put it all back and we're back where we started. Uncle nodded. You have what I need, so bring it here. Get the windmills, PVs, batteries, and all your gear. Imagine that. The news spread. Wyantist and Uncle were working together. They gave people hope. We'll get back our good weather. Everyone zipped over, young and old alike, showing up on their scooters, their bikes, and their trikes. They raised solar panels and giant wind turbines to make a microgrid down by the coastline. The Wyantist flipped the switch to the new energy source, and yes, success, clean power rushed in full force. What a fantastic sight. What a fantastic night. We have clean power and light, and wow, is it bright. With no new exhaust, forests broke into full stride to clean up the air and strip out carbon dioxide. We love Squirrel Not Out. What happened to the Wyantist's wild weather, you ask? Under clear sunny skies, animals and people bask. At night, everyone is comfy and all tucked in. Their electric cars and batteries are all plugged in. And for the town by the sea, all is well once again. Carbon dioxide, CO2, an invisible gas. It comes from burning things. Think forest fires and your breath when you breathe out. It's absorbed from the air by plants. Fossil fuels, oil, natural gas, coal, and petroleum products like gasoline. Global warming, the average temperature on Earth is getting warmer. Greenhouse, a clear glass of plastic house that stays warm inside to keep plants alive when it's cold outside. Greenhouse gas effect, gas, mostly carbon dioxide and methane, traps heat in the lower levels of the atmosphere and warms the average temperature on Earth just like the glass traps warmth inside a greenhouse. Methane, CH4, an invisible gas with no odor. It has 20 to 30 times the warming ability of carbon dioxide. It comes from fossil fuel extraction, coal mining and drilling for oil, natural gas, farming livestock, manure, burps, etc., landfills, wetlands, and rice paddies. PV stands for photovoltaic cells. They are usually black and sit in the solar panels to capture the sun's energy and convert it into electricity. Solar energy. Sunlight and heat from the sun produce energy that can be turned into electricity. Wind energy. Wind turbines convert energy from the wind into mechanical energy, which is used to create electricity. These were some definitions of some wild weather words. Meet Jane Lowry. Since the first time Jane Lowry saw a headlamp shine by pedaling her bike, she has been in love with renewable energy and what it can do. As a former teacher, Jane knows the importance of motivating children to learn more STEM and STEAM material. She believes that it's never too early to gently introduce young minds to the real world vocabulary and ideas in a friendly story. Her love of teaching and energy has taken her as far away as Japan. She's active in the United Way's Read With Me program. Today, Jane works with engineers and scientists who research renewable energy technology from solar wind, tidal geothermal, to biomass. Born in Canada, she now resides in Colorado with her Navy veteran husband, two growing up fast teens, Jasmine the Rescue Dog, and Pickles and August, her cats. Her love of writing, discovering what all clean energy can do, coupled with cooking, travel, and what's new in the delicious world of chocolate, keep her busy. The Wyantist and the Wild Weather is her debut children's book in the Adventures with the Ask a Lot Kids series. Next in the series is The Howantist and the Hot Hill. I hope you enjoyed this story. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel for more books like this one. Thanks for listening.